Hi, this is Charlie Montotiello with Blue Bear Flutes. Of course, our website, bluebearflutes.com, where you find all of our wonderful instruments that we make. We have a great number of Native American flutes, as well as some Central and South American Indian flutes, and even the drone flute, which is increasingly popular these days. Um, today, I'm here to show you how our low-tone drone flutes work, and just to give you a little bit of information about it. Uh, this is a, a low D drone flute. Of course, we do make them also in uh, low E as well. Uh, the E is probably easier to play for most people with the medium-sized hands. I think my hands are relatively medium-sized is what we've determined, but of course, being a flute player, I have quite a stretch already, so I can kind of make my fingers do things that you may not have experience doing otherwise. Uh, if you are interested and have never played a drone flute before, my recommendation is start with an A, a G, or an F sharp. The low tone drone flutes are, um, they're not for probably beginners. I mean, certainly a beginner could play one, and I don't want to ever discourage anyone from trying something like that that's, you know, your life's ambition or goal is to play a low tone drone flute, more power to you. I have in my time repaired re really low tone drones for people, including some low B flats, which are a bass flute made into a drone. And when the person asked me to repair it for them, I thought, well, who in the world would make a, a drone that low? But people request them, and, and flute makers out there uh, with stars and dollar signs undoubtedly in their eyes make them for them. And myself, I don't really like to, to go much lower than this low D. Uh, the reason being is because the D drone itself, although the fingerings are pretty easy on this side, we do have one extra fingering in the back for the, uh, the drone chamber. And of course, on this one, I put it closer to the middle so you can reach a little bit easier. But the, the D drone uh, requires not only the amount of air that you could play a D flute with, but also that much twice. So there's that consideration. And then being able to reach your fingers around um, a large flute like this, and of course having, you know, this extra hole in the back, which is something I get requests for all the time, um, you know, it makes it uh, a challenge to play. And of course, some people, a challenge is certainly worth it. With regards to making drone flutes lower than this one, uh, you know, I always say that you have to have the lungs of an elephant to play it, and, and maybe the finger of a, an eye eye. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, with regards to the D, it's not so difficult. You know, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good flute for you know intermediate players, honestly. <laughs> sounding instrument indeed uh, however myself I really uh, I love this one I think I'd probably play my F sharp a lot more than this though <laughs> uh, it's still a great flute and a wonderful instrument to play uh, if you're interested in those low mellow tones and a drone flute which gives you the double resonance there which is really wonderful so um, like I say a lot of things to consider if you're shopping for a low tone drone for me this is as low as I plan on making any time in the near future simply because um, you know the lower that you go the more air it takes the more control of breath and of course the larger you know your spread of the fingerings will have to be uh, things to consider this one here wonderful like I say intermediate to advanced players you guys will certainly love this and uh, the beginners out there, once again, I'd start with uh, A, G, or an F sharp. I hope this uh, video finds you all well. I hope it is enlightening and helpful to all of you. I hope you uh, enjoy our drone flutes. Um, if the low D is either out of your budget range or you are worried about the size and, and everything of it, of course, you can see our fingering and uh, chart size, size chart dimensions. Um, if you're concerned about that, like I say, start off with something a little bit higher in tone, lower in price, and I know you'll be happy. 
Uh, once again, if you have any questions or anything at all, feel free to contact us at Blue Bear Flutes or on our Facebook under Blue Bear Flutes and Blue Bear Arts. Once again, this is Charlie Montatuyela signing out. Happy flute playing. Mm -hmm.